Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Now That Sweet. I'm your host Michelle and we have a very exciting topic lined up for you guys today. So buckle up and grab a drink and let's dive into the world of using NetSuite for 1099 reporting with ERP buddies. Please give a warm welcome to our special guest, Richard Dipp, who is the Vice President of IT Consulting here at ERP Buddies. Richard, how are you doing today? It's so nice to have you. Thank you, Michelle. Super happy to be here. Excited. To have another topic to talk through. Yes, it's been a while since you've been here. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. The viewers really miss you. I hope they do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's jump right into it. Let's talk about what exactly 1099 reporting is. Yeah, so it boils down to the reporting of payments made to um, non fully staffed uh, entities with the company. So mm -hmm. we're looking at like freelancers, independent contractors, vendors. Uh, <clears throat> these are entities that may provide services to the business mm -hmm. uh, that you've made uh, compensation for. Okay. Uh, so that type of compensation needs to be reported to the business, and that's in the form of 1099 reporting. Mm -hmm. Right. So most businesses, they typically send out a 1099 uh, MISC form yeah. towards these entities. Mm -hmm. um, and that fills out not just their, you know, tax information, their the payee's name, how much was paid. Uh, these are information that needs to be filled out and sent back to um, the, the business for their, their reporting. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so companies usually uh, fill out all these things, sends it back to kind of somebody from the accounts payable side. Uh, and that's logged as data in NetSuite mm -hmm. that we need to now pull the data out and report against, right? Okay. Yeah. So what I'm getting is that it's an essential report that's included in your annual taxes. Yeah. So again, you say essential, but I say it's completely mandatory, I right? See. As far as the business point of view, mm -hmm. this is government conformance, government and tax uh, regulations that needs to be needs to be followed on an annual basis. Right? Okay. Got it. And can you tell us more about why 1099 reporting is so crucial? Yeah. So again, there are repercussions by not by not reporting on it. Mm -hmm. um, so because, I, like I said, it's a uh, it's a, it's conformance with tax regulations. If you don't do it, uh, there are some penalties that come through uh, in the form of um, you know what's called CP twenty one hundred mm -hmm. or. or um, uh, B notices that come from the IRS. Mm -hmm. um, so it's very problematic, it's costly, and again, it takes time to resolve, right? Yeah. These are conversations you don't want to have if you can just do it right the first time. Right, so if you yeah. don't want the tax man and if you don't want some <laughs> hefty penalties coming after you, you need to get serious about 1099 reporting. That's correct, yeah. Moving on to the NetSuite side of things, I understand that NetSuite actually removed the 1099 capability that was within NetSuite? That's correct, yeah. So. Um, they they stopped the support of the 1099 bundle in NetSuite. Uh -huh. So it was uh, it was a free bundle that was provided into the account, but they've since deprecated it mm -hmm. uh, in version 18.2. So um, since then, you know, ERP buddies and, and kind of most of the, the help that we provide is to emulate what uh, they've deprecated. Right, so how are companies currently coping with this elimination of, of 1099 reporting? Oh yeah, yeah, so great question. Mm -hmm. um, their coping mechanism it really st uh, stands out in the form of just manual intervention. Oh um, so the data is in NetSuite, they transact in NetSuite. Mm -hmm. um, it's flagged correctly for 1099, right? Mm -hmm. But the issue is uh, how do you pull that data out and how do you trust the data? Because reports are only as good as kind of the logic you put in. Um, so manual intervention, meaning that they pull out the data, they extract it, and they manually intervene uh, with manipulation of the data in the Excel spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. But what ERP Buddies has done is just build a report, uh, accurate reports in NetSuite. So they just have to export it one time and they have the data in hand. Okay, yes, I would like to know more about this. Tell us more about features of 1099 in NetSuite that ERP Buddies has built. Yeah, so the first feature, again, I just talked through it a little bit, but it's streamlining, streamlining the 1099 reporting, right? Mm -hmm. So our automation um, takes complexity out of the question. Mm -hmm. um, one of our first conversations we have with the business is exactly how they want to segment their data mm -hmm. when it comes to, um, you know, which transactions are going to be flagged for 1099 reporting and how to manipulate the data. So we take out that manual work and we mm -hmm. give some time back to the the team that you know doesn't need to do any more manual work 
Yeah, so just reducing the manual processes and kind of leaving no room for errors is what I'm seeing. Absolutely, yeah, correct. Okay. Yeah. Any other features we should know about? Yeah, um, smooth vendor uh, vendor payment reporting is, is another big one. Mm -hmm. um, so with our solution, um, you can send out vendor payments, uh, payment information requests um, very quickly through, through NetSuite. Uh, so you can be more confident in your confident in your financial transactions that are going through. Oh yeah, absolutely. As business owners, I know how important timely payments are. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And <laughs> any other features we should know about? Yeah, the the last feature is specifically for you know anybody in an accounts payable role. Um, mm -hmm. So what our solution and we I feel pretty strongly about this, but we align with our goals strategically. Um, so kind of building out more lean processes when it comes to this this. Mm -hmm. Um, this task and again I, Michelle I want to just let you know 10 and end reporting is not like a daunting super large task mm -hmm. it's relatively small in the grand scheme of things because it happens just once a year yeah. but if we can take that time out if we can automate it we can make it easier mm -hmm. it's one less thing they need they need to worry about yeah right? we can be a lot more strategic about our contributions correct right yeah. so when we think about automating mm -hmm. we think about making things more efficient for the business yeah. even if it's once a year um, and it's one less thing to train someone on how to do, mm -hmm. right? Um, again, so giving time back is one of the major benefits of, of this reporting. Yeah, I have a feeling this will make a lot of lives easier for a lot of people out there. Yeah, again, even though it's once a year, but it will make lives easier because it's one less thing to do. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So let's say I'm a business owner and I want to kind of implement this solution. How will this transform my operations? So there's not a lot that it's going to be transforming in, in terms of the operations. What it would do is when it comes to, you know, tax season time, yeah. um, because our reporting is automated, we structure it in a way that fits the business process, uh, your business process. Mm -hmm. um, it, re again, removes the need for manual intervention yeah. um, and gives time back to the, the, the clients, right? So. Mm -hmm. Uh, it just boils down to just how, how to pull the data accurately and organize it in a way that's easily consumable. Okay, right? yeah. So we're looking at reducing manual tasks and staying strict with compliance. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tax yeah, man. I'm sold. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, but we just don't want to just tell you what we have. We also want to show you. So with this, I'm going to hand it over to Kate, who is our next week consultant here at ERP Buddies and she's gonna give you a detailed walkthrough of 1099 within NetSuite and what we have to offer. You can create your 1099 report, export them on NetSuite and upload them to your 1099 service provider. NetSuite provides multiple templates that you can use for your 1099 reporting. For example, for your 1099 reporting for yearly, servos or track 1099. This save searches are highly customizable and you will be able to update the results, the criteria, depending on how you manage your data. Let's say, for example, this yearly miscellaneous report. This is how it looks like right now, but there might be updates for 1099 reporting for yearly that needs to be updated. So in order to do that, you need to edit the search. We need to make sure that the results of the search are highly accurate, so it's very important for you to review the result as well as the data that is being shown on the report. You can update the type of the search, the status, and the dates depending on how you manage your data. The results can be modified as well. This is where you update the column names and then the formula out on how the amounts are being calculated. Once you have confirmed that all of the data is accurate and correct, you should now be able to export this either as a CSV or as an Excel file. And then after that, you can just review it and upload them to your 1099 service provider. Please note that you're not required to use the 1099 templates that are available. You can create the reports from scratch, but it's highly recommended for you to use the ones that are readily available. So you just 
modify them and update them if needed. Thank you so much. All right, thanks a lot, Kate, for such a detailed and insightful demo. I think that will actually clear up a lot of questions for a lot of people. Now, moving on, back to you, Richard. I just want to know for our viewers out there, if they are interested in this, what would be the next steps to kind of know more about this? Yeah, so great, great, great question. If you are interested in it uh, as a client, um, reach out to ERP Buddies. Let's mm -hmm. have a first conversation. It'll be kind of a discovery slash assessment. Yep. Uh, and we'll see if this 1099 reporting would help benefit your, your business. And if it does, let's uh, do an initial requirement gathering mm -hmm. uh, and then we'll go from there, right? Okay. Um, and I would say one, um, I would say one thing. Mm -hmm. Again, this is not a large daunting task. I, I just, it's, it's something small. Yeah. So even if you come around kind of in the top of the year, January, you have to report around kind of January end. Um, even if you come at the top of the year, uh, mm -hmm. we can turn it around in 30 days, right? The conversation okay. and the work itself is not large, mm -hmm. um, but it is something that can benefit the business for years to come. Okay, perfect. That's yeah. good to know. Thanks a lot, Richard, for joining us. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank <laughs> you.